So excuse my face, but this moment is worth documenting. Silas here has been learning Spanish numbers. And so today on his worksheet, his language arts worksheet, he had to copy a sentence of what antonyms means. And let's take a look at what he wrote. Antonyms are two words that have opposite meanings. Antonyms are those words that have opposite meanings. I love it. I love how he's incorporating Spanish into his other work. Good job, buddy. That totally made my day. Totally made me smile. It was great. Landa over here is playing with little sis. Little sis thinks she can rule every room in the house. And then check out that hair. She is so happy. She loves it so much. <laughs> At night when sunshine goes away and it's too dark for me to play, I come I come outside and look for new friends in a storybook. Wait, inside or outside? Inside. Oops. <laughs> At night when sunshine goes away and it's too dark for me to play, I like to come inside and look for new friends in a storybook. That was good. That was better. Good job. So what are you doing right now? I'm memorizing this. What is it? Like a, a poem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was born in Stratford, Stratford mm -hmm. heard, in a in a market town in Warwickshire, <laughs> Warwickshire, okay, England. His father was a glove maker, and his, what does that mean? Like he made gloves, and his mom was a owner of a like owner of land owner, a land owner. He was, she was a land. What is oh? What's Hi. happening? Oh. <laughs> go, Hattie, go. Go, Hattie, go. Go, Hattie, go. Oh, oh. Oh, she's scared. Oh. Dear King, how was your fight with the Red Crown King? That's going to be Celis's note in cuneiform. Let's see how it comes out. Don't mind the dishes. Dun dun dun. something. What is it? Oh, she found mommy's feet. Oh, what? This is that. No, it's not. Good job. Doing good. 
doing good. The purple one. These ones? Yeah. 